Hey there. You know what one of my favorite laws in this country is? It's the one that says that you're a criminal if you cut somebody's hair. You heard that right. If you had a friend that you took some scissors to their hair and did one little snip, you just broke the law. Um, if you do not have a license to cut somebody's hair in this country, you can be fined big bucks if you dare go against the state and cut somebody's hair. Uh, I was reading this article, this is actually from 2010, but it uh, says that the Better Business Bureau received in 2009, they received 2,400 complaints about hairstylists um, giving bad cuts to severe scalp burns, and these were unlicensed stylists. To put that in perspective, there's about 320 million people in this country. And of that, there were 2,400 bad haircuts in a year. And because of that, we feel that these laws are justified. This is this is hysteria at its at its most base. This is a couple little problems that occur over a four million square mile piece of land to, like I said, 320 plus million people. A couple problems happen, so we need federal law to make sure it never happens. And did it ever make it, did it ever stop the problem completely? Of course not, I still get bad haircuts from time to time. The other interesting thing in this article is it's talking about many people within the salon industry, right here, I'm highlighting it, boom. Even people inside the salon industry admit there's a problem with unlicensed stylists. Okay, of course they'll admit that because you know who loves this law? It's people who are currently employed as stylists because all the licensing is to them it's a big barrier to entry to that marketplace it's a big government barrier to make sure that you are not free enough to go cut someone's hair and get five bucks for it and guess what that sends a lot more business to the stylists they don't have to be nearly as competitive as they otherwise would have to be if the government didn't step in and put up all these fences to this industry it shouldn't be a shock to anyone that the people who already have their license and are working as stylists want these licenses, want these big barriers to entry. And I want to pose a question to you. Have you ever moved somewhere and you're looking for someone new to cut your hair? Have you ever made a decision on who to let cut your hair based on whether or not they have a license? Have you ever even looked for one? I think if you're being honest, you have to say that you absolutely have not. You know what makes that decision for you? It's you see somebody with a nice haircut, you go up to them and say, hey, who cut your, cuts your hair? That looks great. Um, you know, who cuts it? And then they tell you, oh, it's that person down the street. They work at uh, Super Cuts or whatever. And that's all you need. It's this thing called reputation over regulation. Somebody's reputation will tell you all you need to know. And they'll t it'll tell you much more than you need to know than any regulation or any license ever will. All I need to know is who cut your hair, it looks awesome, that person did it, awesome. I'm gonna go there and get my hair cut from that person because I know they can do it. Another thing you might wanna ask somebody, and you might wanna keep this on the down low, if you see somebody with a bad haircut, pretend that you like it and you say, hey, who cut your hair? And they say, oh, that person down the street. And then guess what? You avoid that place like the plague. You never go there, you never let them come near your hair with a pair of scissors or any chemicals or anything like that to color your hair. Boom, problem solved, no government necessary. The last thing that I wanna mention is that this article is titled, The Perils of Unlicensed Hairstylists. I don't know what it is about that title, but it's very groveling and it seems like these people are on their knees to the government. It's kind of sad. Without the almighty government, how would I know who to let cut my hair? Alright, thanks for listening. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, share, comment, all that good stuff. I'm out.